Greetings out of these and guardians, my name is Hyperheims and welcome back to Kicker Run Kingdom. I had an idea for a video that I wanted to do here, but there was one thing that I wanted to do first, if that makes sense. I was originally going to go ahead and go like, hey, you know how there's episode 2 of Beast Yeast? Well, what if we did that in normal mode? However, I was kind of at an impasse because I felt like if I wanted to do that video, I thought it would be necessary to do the rest of Beast Yeast in normal mode, which, if you're wondering, Beast Yeast has like three difficulties. If I just select on one of these levels, like let's say uh, the one where we just finished off being Path of Fairies. Though, so there's story mode, which if you're wondering, it's just so easy to the point where you can just fly through just to experience all the story. There's normal mode, which is like, it has decent difficulty, however, it's fair enough to the point where like common players who averagely play now and then which basically regularly return to the game could actually make it through now there's also hard mode which basically means like there's no way that i could actually make it through myself if, even if i tried maybe there's a chance like with the most goaded of stats but like that's gonna require a lot of real life money and i'm not willing to do that so what i want to try and do is go through more of the normal mode levels which should be easy enough but however i do need to remember something before i start there's two things i obviously need to start which we'll probably go through levels 1 uh, 11 through 20 uh depending on how long they take us I don't know, considering that we did 10 levels last time, we probably could just do 10 levels too. Uh, but there's two things I need to make sure of. Firstly, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about, blah, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. And I will be trying to read uh, comments from the video, Macho Kiki Rises, the Kiki Laboratorium Update where uh, there's a lot of comments on the video, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to every single one of them. However, I'll try my plumbing hardest to get through as many as I possibly can. But also, another thing I need to make sure of is uh, I need to go over to my storage and... No, is it storage? No, I think it's somewhere in cookies. Like, so I need to go over here. I need to go to tap on one of these random cookies. Uh, Sorbet Shark. I gotta go to Biscuits. I gotta go ahead and, like, make sure I tamper with a bunch of these things i gotta break them down because the, you get quite a lot of these however if you have so many then what's going to end up happening is uh you you just won't get them like if you get new biscuits then what ends up happening is that they just like dissipate they just disappear you won't receive them so you got to make sure that you break down a bunch of these so you can actually end up receiving them in the end so i'm just going to break down a bunch of these common ones uh make sure that i save a bunch of rooms just so i can make sure that i can actually have storage for all this stuff three four break it all down at least you get a lot of these and also some uh radium biscuits though which may it might help i don't know uh but now we have 53 out of 50 rooms if you want to you can't expand which just takes more crystals so why the plug not <coughs> what's what the plug's going on in my throat today all right I don't know, I just heard it like squeaking a lot, so I don't know what's up with that. I don't think my team is the best, but we gotta go ahead and ply through this. So, whatever the case is, we gotta go ahead and just rev on through. So, with that being said, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just go through these levels and read some comments in the meantime. Like, for example, there's a comment from an idiot. I think there's two? Yeah, there's two. One saying, today I got Elder Fairy in uh, Macha Kiki's banner and first... That is surprising. Imagine getting, imagine going to Matcha Cookie's banner and just expecting to get Matcha, but no, you just get Elder Fairy Cookie. I don't think that's ever happened to me yet. Like, specifically, like, when, you know how there's the average Epic Cookie that gets released, but then there's also the Special Cookie. Like, there's the Legendary, there's the Ancient, there's the Dragon, there's the Plebbing, what, a Super Epic, stuff like that. I don't think I've ever had it where, uh, oh my gosh, we are just getting molly -whopped. Excuse me, get the plug out of my face. Uh, but I don't think I've ever had it where I've gotten the super valuable cookie and the epic cookies banner. And if it has happened, then it's probably happened so long ago to the point where I can't even remember what it was. I remember there was another video that I could have made, but, uh, we're just going through this anyway because probably those beast kits might help if I put them on heroes just so I can make them more stronger. But there's also the slim chance I get the epic beast kits, which might be really good. But also, another reason why I'm doing this is because there's actually a mission where... Actually, wait, before I continue that thought, I'll read the other comment from an idiot, which says, Ancient's playing Golden, let's play True Truth in One Lie. Uh, Lily, I'll go first. Lily says, my name is White Lily, I have green eyes, and I fell into a cauldron, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I was busy reading the comment. <laughs> I fell into a cauldron, turned dark, enchantress cookie, golden, well, it's obvious which one is a lie. Uh, Holly says her eyes are pink, golden says you fell in what? Yeah, that was a whole entire RP I just had right there, that was pretty exciting. I hope all of you understood that one, because I kind of lost it halfway through. I know, I know what the joke was, but, like, it's hard focusing on fighting and reading comments at the same time. This is why it's a little bit more easier to do so from, uh, you know, doing videos like, you know, Kingdom Building, you know, Club Dynasty and stuff like that. Or just videos where I'm just looking at cutscenes and just basically, basically, I mean, I just realized now doing those cutscene videos, like, either Kiki Odyssey or stuff like that, they're just reaction videos. 
Like, that's all they are. They're just reaction videos. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's true. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, next level. And also, let's read a comment from... Uh, there's a few comments. There's actually one... Just... There's one from D's Nuts. And his com their comment literally just says, My wife. I'm pretty sure you mean Matcha Cookie being your wife, but I'm not sure why Matcha Cookie would be married to D's Nuts. But, uh... I don't know, you do you. You're probably into some freaky stuff. Also, a comment from Anita Selcado left a comment saying, Oh, I- Oh my- uh, Okay, I'll read this comment then. There is also the point I need to bring up because I completely forgot about it. Uh, Anika, uh, Anita Selcado says, I got a question. Uh, which I'm probably messing that up your name, but well, I'm sorry. Uh, I got a question. Which cookie do you want to see in the next update of Cookie Run Kingdom? If it could be any cookie run, oven break cookie, uh, round puzzle world cookie, round tower adventure, even the manga? Even scrapped cookies? Like cereal cookie, even made up cookies, like fruit punch or hype cookie. Well, obviously, it'd be a dream to see fruit punch and hype cookie appear in the game both, because I feel like they'd have some pretty comical tales and this some other OCs as well. But I feel like I really just want to see, like, let's say for oh, it's for other, it's for Kingdom specifically. Okay, so who would be good to see in Kingdom? Uh, I gotta be honest, I feel like I would like to see Mocha Ray and Lobster in Kingdom. If they wanted to continue whatever storyline they got going with Sea Fairy, and maybe they can be some cookies who ventures into the depths, uh, the depths, ew, uh, they venture into the depths of the Dusk Gloom Sea, and I feel like they could have some pretty interesting adventures going into there, from my personal opinion. Uh, but whatever the case is, honestly, I feel like those that group would be, you know, pretty interesting to have. Anyway, as I was saying before, which I literally forgot about after reading more comments, another reason why I'm doing this is because I actually need to spend some of these meats because uh, it's these uh, big special jellies. You know how you have the energy jellies? Well, apparently these are like, I forgot what they're called, but like the big energy jellies. But apparently something that's good is that if you spend these and you spend enough, you actually get missions done for trying to get Elder Fairy cookies. So I think that's definitely going to be helpful because I've been doing missions up the butt trying to really get that cookie. Because uh, it's not like it's impossible for me to get them, but I'm just saying I'm hoping that I do get them at some point. Because there's a couple of Oh, just, just plugging use the sword. There you go. Oh, there's more waves. Oh, it's just oh, it's these plugs. Okay, we're fine. I'm pretty sure. They just kind of like sit there and do nothing but scream. Mm. Man, look at that wall of buffs. Just buffs all over the place. Just a whole wall. Co co coat my whole entire wall in buffs. If I ever need a replacement wall or poster or something like that, it'll be easy. But now that this is done, also, it's also good to keep on doing this because, you know, you get the crystals and stuff. So obviously doing this for all the loot and rewards, like, really beneficial. Like, super beneficial. Okay, so we'll probably go through this level and then we'll read a comic question of the day. But of course, I got to read some more comments in the meantime because, you know, I just got to be all jazzy and stuff like that. But there's actually a few comments from A Gamer 360 One of them saying, comic question of the day, well, it's just empty, avoid. Elder Fairy using the Stardust type Super Epic Gacha, it's so bad. I I'm gonna be honest, I thought... For, I, I, you might disagree with this, but I feel like it makes more sense for Elder Fairy to be an ain't, like a plubbing, not, well, not ancient, but like a legendary, because, you know, if you have the powers to store the plubbing beasts inside of a plubbing, uh, you know, under a tree, you think you'd actually be a little bit more, uh, graceful for what your abilities would be, if that makes sense. Like, I just feel like ancient, no, not ancient. Dang it. Uh, plumbing, uh, being a legendary would make so much more sense. I wouldn't say ancient, because, I mean, I guess they have existed for a while, but like... I don't know, I just think Legendary makes a little bit more sense, but I don't know, it's just me. Uh, another comment you left is, you're lucky that you got Matcha, meanwhile I couldn't get her. Well, you probably should, Th this is why I store my crystals. People complain to me, dude, you should probably spend your plumbing millions of crystals. But this is why, because imagine if I'm going to be the poor sap who doesn't end up getting the cookie, which I really hope you do get the cookie at the end of the day. Like, don't get me wrong, I really hope that each and every one of you get the new cookies and the new content that gets released. But this is why I save. I don't instantly spend everything I have whenever chance I get. I wait until the new cookie comes out so I can make sure that I guaranteed get her. Or him. Or they. Them. It. Whatever the case is, we should probably read a common question of the day real quick. And... Uh, hmm. You know, um, let's see. Uh, I was w watching a video recently. And let, let me ask something which uh, I think will be pretty interesting. Are there any other online specific games that you play? And these could kind of be in regards to just anything. Like, I know this technically isn't an online game. But I guess with some stuff you can connect to like online doing stuff. But like, is there any games that you enjoy that... 
heavily connect to like you know online multiplayer stuff because like i feel like some of the requests like people might tell me about was like i don't know like splatoon because that place has like a well a really big wide multiplayer community also things like i don't know plumbing like minecraft or like fortnite or stuff like that i know fortnite is like basically the main whole burst the basis of that game is supposed to be like online multiplayer but like that's kind of the fun of it anyway it's more friend it's more fun to play with friends than like by yourself in my personal opinion but i don't know i feel like just asking stuff like that because uh, i was watching a video uh, recently it was about runescape and i remember how long ago i played that it was fun but i could barely get far into the game because that game just gets so confusing after a bit like i just grind out a bunch of skills in the easy parts of the game and then i just get lost after that especially the fact that like a majority of the game only opens up if you have membership which i actually heard that you actually can buy membership with in-game currency if you grind it up enough which i think that gives a little bit more motivation of course you could still buy it like you can still buy it with like the uses of like membership bonds which i think are pretty cool however I, what's the point if you could just grind it up for like actual money like like just grind up with like in-game money is what i'm trying to say like i just think that concept is really cool and honestly it might be a bit expensive but to be fair i think it's worth it if you don't even have to spend a cent on it but i don't know maybe i can take a visit to that game at some point uh but i don't know there's a lot to do because once i get glued to something i'm not going to be able to get off it for like at least a month like, I'm not even joking. I wish that was fake, but no, I'm being 100% dead serious on that. But, I don't know. Just be interesting to see what types of games you also like in the comments. And these specifically have to be online ones. These aren't ones that you could just go like, oh, I could just uh, single player this and stuff like that. No, no, no. You also, you need to importantly go online with it. That's what I'm trying to say. Whew. Anyway, let's go and read a few more comments. Because right now we're nearly, uh, we're over halfway through the video, so that's good. Uh, but, uh, wait, did, I, did I read this comment? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I just already uh, didn't hard it yet. Uh, but there's a comment from Kika with like four or five or... That's that's six A's at the end of your name. Okay. You say, anyway, congrats on your Machiki polls. I'm still trying to get her. Feels like she isn't want to come home. And never mind life was I so happy to be wrong about something. The Elder Fairy not coming back to be playable. Yeah. Oh, were, were, were you the common? Were you the common who was just like, man, we're never going to get Elder Fairy again because, you know, he, we're, he's dead. He's dead in the story. And then he came back. And the first thing I really wanted to just say was, what did I say? What did I say? They'll probably just make him playable. Or, like, I just wanted to prove you wrong or whatever the plug was, but whatever the case, I actually am glad that you're happy that Elder Fairy's back. Personally, for me, I thought it was too soon to bring him back. Like, literally only in the last update did they, cut, they kill him off. Like, it just seemed, like, too immediate, which I'm, understandably, I am happy for people who were just like, oh, we got Elder Fairy back to the game, we can actually play as him. But, like, doesn't it feel too soon? That's actually why I made a poll about that recently, going, like, was it too soon? Because I feel like if it was, like, up, like a couple updates later, then it would make sense. Because I feel like it would make more sense for, like, Matcha Cookie and Butter Roll Cookie to be playable. Like, because, you know, it revolves around the two new cookies who are working under uh, Dark Enchantress Cookie, which I know one was forcibly kidnapped, and the other one is just a kooky old, old lady, but still. But, I don't know. I just think it was, it was kind of rushed, in my opinion. Not that the update was rushed, but I feel like it was just, like... I don't know, it's weird. It's just something from my personal perspective. And you can comment on it all you like, but that's just what I think. But whatever the case, let's just get back to it while reading some more comments before I go into too much of a rant heavy mode. Oh, we gotta deal with the Eye of Calamity. Okay, I forgot this was a thing. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our boots strapped up for this one. And uh, just prepare. There's actually a lot of comments I didn't even realize. Sheesh. Uh, but there's a comment from Sonic Gamer360. Uh, there's actually two. One saying, I wasn't able to get White Lily Kiki before the Nether got to went away. I tried so hard and I got far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I did just reference Link Park. Man, you know how many people were plugging saying that after one of the... the yeah, I, oh, oh yeah, we got White Lily too. You know how many people, like, fucking said that after, like, what was it? What was it, like, one of the band members had died in that? They say, like, he tried so far and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I thought that was crude, but back in my insecure state, or, like, it was years ago, I thought that, like, made sense. But it's just disrespectful at the end of the day. But, like, I do understand what you're coming from, and I do hope that you still get White Lily again in the future. I mean, hey, maybe there's a chance that you can get, like, a guaranteed ancient package. Like, not a package, but, like, one of those chests where you can get it guaranteed. Oh my gosh, that's a giant eye laser. I'm just gonna poke you and straighten your eye. Uh, okay, I gotta heal all this up. Oh yeah, I forgot. We, we, don't have cre <laughs> we don't have Cream Puff anymore, because Cream Puff got swapped out for White Lily. Okay, that's just great. 
At least, uh, thank everything that Pure Vanilla can actually, uh, just make our HP come back up just by a little bit. Because they're trying to drain our total amount of HP, which is something I don't need. Uh, we should be able to... I know we just use all of our sword stuff, but we should be able to do this. I'm hoping, at least. Uh, because it's a good thing that I decided to, uh, upgrade White Lily Cookie just a couple episodes ago. Because if I didn't, this will probably be a little bit more hard than before. Stop shooting your plebbing. I'm firing my laser thing at my face. Because I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna live it. Ugh. <sighs> And it did not need to be as stressful as it was, but we managed to make it through. What a relief. But wait, that's not- Is that my white lily? Level 66? That, I, don't, I don't think that's my white lily. Could... Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm obviously gonna go to the next level, but I'm just trying to check. Uh, info. Uh, require- Wait. Is this- I won't didn't even up. use- It didn't even use mine! Mine would have been so much better- Wait, it would have been better? Like, uh, go back. Can- Uh, remove. Okay, how how much better would that been? I won't give up. Wait. It would have okay. It's a, it's a it's a minor difference, but it would have still made it better by like six hundred points. I'm still taking that win. Okay. Uh, then again, I think I don't think she has toppings either. So there's also that I need to add. All right. Well, whatever. Two more, and then I'll be able to uh, end this video because I think we've done a good amount of progress here, which I'm glad about, especially after that plumbing boss. But whatever the case is, time to get to some more comments. There's another comment from Sonic Gamer saying, "Would you question my taste in women if I said that Machi Kiki is simp worthy?" Uh, no, because let's be honest, I plumbing agree. Anyway, Shafir Ragnarok off lifting comments saying, "Hey, Hyperons, do you think it'll be kind of cool if you were a Kiki scientist to have your very own laboratorium?" Probably, yeah, I just have to be smart about it. I can't be clumsy, because knowing that if I were to be clumsy about it, I would make a lot of mistakes, I'd make a lot of bad decisions, and unintentional bad decisions specifically, because if I were to make those, oh, I'd be, I'd be in way more than a pickle. Also, Tangible Pepper left a comment saying, there's gonna be a, probably another cookie add to the game in this update, being Butter Roll Cookie. I'm excited that we're basically getting two new cookies uh, for in the darkness of the game. Yeah, I didn't even, real, I'm, I didn't even realize Butter Roll was gonna be a cookie at darkness, which... Technically, he's not. He just got kidnapped and forcibly he's doing all this, but then again, he enjoys it, so I guess it should count. I mean, it's given him the opportunities to actually do what he wants, so I guess that matters. But anyway, Jelly O's left a comment saying, My favorite thing about the new update is Matcha Cookie, since she's my sixth favorite cookie. Well, I'm actually impre I'm actually curious to hear what the other top five are. Uh, Mar Mark Hoy left a comment saying, How ironic, I also got Matcha in the second poll. Well, good for you. I'm glad that you got Matcha Cookie. Matcha Cookie deserves all the love. Uh, Alicia Mask, SFHCM, that's straight up her name, uh, saying, I got her an Elder Fairy Cookie today. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm actually glad both Matcha and Elder Fairy. That's actually insane. All right, let's just finish off these clubs with a big old blade to the face, which we only have one there, but it's fine. Uh, there's only a few more comments I'll read, which I may as well because they're not too much. Uh, they're not too long. Like, Ultra left a comment saying, Common question, my favorite is Elder Fairy being playable. At this point, I'm just trying to get him. Wish me luck because it uses the Stardust formula and has adapted to the other Super Epic cookies, excluding Clotted Cream, Oyster, and Sherbet. I think we're going to need all the luck that I can get. An update. Bruh, as soon as I left the comment, I got him on my fourth temple. What are the odds of that? Update 2. Twice. What? How the fuck is that possible? I'm actually jealous of your luck. Can I have some of that? I need some of that luck just to get Elder Fairy on my side. And maybe some more matcha cookies. But anyway, there's only a few more comments I'm just going to read and then we can end off the video. So if you want to stick around for that, may as well. Uh, but Game Wisdom Gaming said, I just got Elder Fairy Cookie in a 110 poll, but I don't know if he's good or not. I don't know if he's good too. You just go ahead and check him out for me and maybe I can give it a gander. I don't know. But maybe soon enough I'll be able to get Elder Fairy. I don't know. Another comment from Lenon uh, Geode says, Comment question of the day. My favorite part of the update is matcha cookie. Yeah, that's fair. Matcha Cookie is lovely. A comment from Vincent says, Now that I think about it, White Lily Cookie is playable and Kikiron Avenbrake is Dark Enchantress. Theory, if she's playable, then Blue Lily is the other cookie from the anniversary update, her long-lost sister, or am I just crazy? Uh, they're part of forestry? Honestly, they're both part of a forest, and uh, Lily Bell is a supposed fairy, and they're both, they both have Lily in the back, in, in, like the back part of their name. You actually might be onto something now that I think about it. But the last thing I'll, uh, I, there's only two more comments I'll read. One saying, time to save crystals again because still no pastel meringue. Hey, it's, uh, someday he'll come. And the last comment I'll read from, comes from Ski Storm saying, no spoilers, but something you never thought. The last cutscene was sought you, the Cookie Laboratorium update. So if the new cutscene of the Cookie Laboratorium update will shock me? Hmm. 
That's actually going to be pretty exciting. Thanks for those spoilers, by the way. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet or you want to, hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Oh, why do I still got to use more stamina jellies? And if you haven't yet, if you want to, uh, there's links down in the description if you want to check them out, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, which, in, uh, which you know, hey, that's for if I can get the kicker on YouTube stuff for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hypenese Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel and lastly a link to my Kofi, fi worth just one dollar a month you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal youtube channel but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype knees